Welcome everybody to tonight's stream. It's going to be kind of a two-parter, depending upon how things go. I'm trying to get some footage of me beating the bosses of Hellsign, because I beat the main chapter of the game. But I haven't had too much trouble. So I figure this will kind of be our quote-unquote work stream. And when we get this done early, we're going to play some classic Sacrifice. I'm also going to do a second recording when we get to the boss footage that I'll edit over if we can actually get a win. But my character is pretty much along here. I need to do some testing though. You guys get to be a part of my own little uh, game design uh, test for this game. Alright, there's my shotgun. want to find... I need more experience than I do anything else. Everything organized... I didn't forget anything, did I? No, we're good. Open, are you? <laughs> so, because this is a heavy revolver, it takes a lot longer to load. But in theory, it does double the damage. Or it should. Hey, Let's see. Let's see. I've gotten a lot better at picking these things up. This could be a bit of a problem. Apparently, I did not equip my my enhanced grenades. Not to worry, we have a med kit for a reason. There they are. That's what we want. <laughs> this way I don't worry about losing permanent health. Where was I? Close. Nope. It's not over there. It's not in here, it should be in the next room. We're listening for it. Yeah. For it to actually talk. Crap. I won't say that's a scream. I thought there's something else nearby. Could be either here. We're in this room. Mm. Oh, it's gotta be in here. 
ghost town. Oh, never mind, ghost toilet. Now that poltergeist should be coming at any second. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Follow the clues. I don't know what boss we're going to fight yet. Huh, is this where the tracks end? Yeah, but there's gonna be some scary ghosts to show up any second now. got the warning that a poltergeist is about to attack. So I've set up a trap to defend myself. our tracks here. These blood stain analysis just seem very hard to pick out. Quiet ghost. It starts at this body. Oop. Now when I get cold air that means there's a clue nearby. Oh, there it is. There's some evidence. I have enough clues now to begin deducing what this ghost is. Oh, stop that. Is it? Say like psychosis. Oh, good banshee. I think they're the hardest of the three bosses. Guess that's good for you, folks watching. That's something. Quiet goes. That knocks him out, so we don't have to worry about the ghosts. For a while. Oh! But then I get eaten by a door. Ow. Mm-mm-mm. Dodge a spiritual ghost. Got chewed up by a door. Nah, just a regular, uh, haunted door. Uh oh Stop that! Jeez. Can't even pick up a, uh, murderer's mask without getting attacked here. Wait a minute. Looks like there may be more around. See, a lot of the clues can sometimes converge on each other, giving you mixed signals. There we go. 
Oh wait, there's another clue. It's Blue's Clues Paranormal Activity Edition. Wait a minute, there may be even a second clue, yep. When you see my breath get really thick like that, that means there's a thermal clue around. Alright, where are you? Apparently it takes a lot of work to bust ghosts. And I know I'm in the right area when my breath gets heavy. <laughs> Come on. This is a very annoying part. Because my breath doesn't give me a directional indicator. It just gives me a proximity. Okay, so it's not in here. My Magnum has a shotgun attached to it. There we go. wants to kill me. A clue, a clue. Sometimes the clues are outside, too. Now we've survived all the major events, so outside of a few enemies there shouldn't be anything left here to get the jump on me. Doesn't it end right here? I swear this is harder than it should be. Gotta be close. The annoying thing is when it's like a little tiny book that sometimes it's very hard to pick up on the thermal imaging. Let's just see, do I even need to do it? Yeah, I need at least one more clue. Let's see. If 
follow the marks. Symbol is Oh good. I need one more red clue to completely deduce what the enemy is. more clues, at least not easily. Now I've gotten better at finding the blood trails. These uh, breath ones are just annoying. I swear that I've seen them in areas I've already looked at, and that just shows up that second time. It would help if your breath would kind of flow in the direction of where the clue is. I think it would be here. It's not that bad when it's in like a hallway. As the hallway is a little easier to glean where it could be. Right, I'm gonna try something here. We'll go with just these clues. We know it's a banshee. I need to do a little game design test here. I'm gonna switch my gun out for this weaker one, and I want to see if I do more damage. Where is? Where are my silver bullets? There they are. Okay, I know that it's going to be... Some kind of a banshee. <laughs> Laser sights and I need a hearing aid. don't know what else could possibly defend against it yet. Holy water seems like a given, right? Heal up now because we're not going to get a chance to when we begin. So what's very annoying about this one is that traps do not hurt the poltergeist, at least not my basic ones. So the only thing I can do... Oh, hold on. Come on, mines. These proximity mines are not working as advertised. It's a good thing we found that before we triggered the boss. Oof, really. 
The thing with Battlefield 5 would be doing a lot better. Alright, but it is ghost time. I don't want to... Wait, is there something in here? No. I don't want to trigger the traps... ...in multiple succession. Alright, we'll place one in here. And I believe it's time. Actually, don't forget, I need to turn on my recorder here. Hope you guys are ready. Time for a boss. First thing first, we gotta get the hell away from her. Ow. Stop screaming. Barely doing any damage. Okay, she moves. They must have buffed the bosses since I finished this last night. Get some better traps. There's only one thing I'm thinking of. I couldn't be wrong and put the wrong. <laughs> uh, weakness. Could they? No, unfortunately. Back to my heavy rifle. So the thing is, I can now modify my 
traps. Let's see here. Electricity. I hope that's enough. What do I want to do? Oh yeah. Buy more bullets. So I'm at the point in the game now where I'm not getting any more upgrades because that's the end of like the tutorial or this first chapter. Now I'm gonna switch to the rock soul. I wanna see next time I fight the banshee if that is a better weapon. Apparently silver bullets are very expensive. If I even just get one of the three recorded, I'll be happy. But with that upgrade, I should be able to now modify the traps to actually do damage. It does. But they're not doing as much of a punch as they should be. I was only doing 5 to 10 damage per hit. Hmm. Well, we'll see what we get. I'm hoping we can show off the shadow. I thought possibly one of the things I took off could have affected my gun. But no. Hmm. I don't know. I think it's very important that I actually put bullets on. Right now I need experience more than I need anything else. There should be a way to set presets, but I don't know how. Where are my cool shades? There they are. I should probably equip my actual grenades. There. Knock, knock. We don't really care the person scream for help, do we? There's our clue. Well, 
That worked a lot better. Oh. That was gonna be a long time until I remove that reload penalty. Oh, we got the first stage. No, I did not know that. in here. I'll be in the next room. Got some blood. All right, what could it be? Banshee again? Oh, I don't want to fight another banshee. I got my. Uh oh. Got almost killed by an army of centipedes. Chair! Okay, where were we? around here. Oh boy. Uh 
Nothing like evil children singing, right? This is going to be the annoying part. Oh wait, I can open the door. No haunted toilets? Oh, it's not in here. <laughs> it's my brilliant defensive maneuvers. Oh crap. We got a big spider. Spitting on me. Nope, we don't want to do that. There we go. Second, we got giant spires to deal with. There. Okay. All out of healing, and I'm all out of my grenades. There's lore, I think. They could be in this room. Not here, it's gotta be in the room to the side. I don't think we're gonna beat this banshee though. Oh crap. Very nasty in this house. was the clue for a second. See, the more thing I learn about the ghost, the more bonuses I get for fighting it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when these shadow creatures show up, they take away the light. Let's see, how are we doing for our clues right now? Dots, eh, it's brute blunt force. 
Enough. Anything in here? Oh, there it is. All right, I need one more clue. And we'll have the full ghost scoped out. The only question is where could it be? Hmm. Ah, I thought I could do some of the water tank. We didn't look up any blood clues yet, right? No, I don't think we did. Right, they're leading out this way. I'm hoping this is the last clue. Somebody play the Scooby-Doo music right now. What ends here? Hmm. It's gotta be in this room then. This is the problem with an isometric perspective when there's like things like on the corners. Again, the blood is ending right at this point. So it's gotta be in here. You would think. Seems like we're getting close. Blood on the ground is also making it harder to figure out. I thought there was like someone on the wall there. Mm. Two, four, six, seven, eight. We're just like one clue away, and it's annoying. get everything else, right? Well, let's see what we're dealing with then. Uh, Alright, 403 watts. So now, because I got the upgrade, I can modify my traps. Right, we want to go to 403. And in doing so, this should actually cause more damage. Or actually, I may be able, if I can find that final clue, we can do more with it. Now this actually causes damage 
to the Banshee, then we may have a chance. But you see, here's a trick. I need one more clue to learn the final thing about this ghost, so that one of these four will cause it to do more damage. I'm gonna try this. The developers are getting feedback from people about the blood trails. I can't help but think that maybe there's like something like in a wall? And it's not a case of RNG, if anyone's thinking that way. If I click on the object enough times, it will work. It's simply a matter of finding whatever the hot spot is. It's not the dresser. Alright, I have clicked on every item in this room at this point. I mean, once you know what you're looking at, it gets a little bit better. But I swear, some of the stuff is kind of a cheat. There's blood. And there's pattern one. There's another blood splatter. Let's see. There we go. And that's the final clue. Well, this is going to be our best possible chance at beating this thing. It is ethereal. We've got to do our homework. So now our traps do more, we take more or less damage. And I need to know what that final form is. Alright, so I need a direct... Oops, let's get that off. We need a direct current. And I need my silver bullets. And I'm hoping that this actually hurts it. Should we said direct? We need a charm. We don't have a laser sight, but I have a hearing aid. The wailing is known. So they're saying silver hurts these guys. Putting silver on. I'm gonna put rock salt on for this. Right, can 
myself more resistance. That protects my ears. It's definitely an interesting one. It's saying a charm. It's time to see if these traps will do their job. Those are big uh, layouts, aren't they? It would only hurt the Banshee. I could use that against it, but it doesn't seem to be doing it. Alright, here we go again. I have my silver. See what happens. I want to activate this trap the second it shows up. I want to see if it does anything. Well, that didn't do a damn thing. I, I think this fight is bugged. That did a lot of damage. Get out of here then. Aha. That way I keep I just wonder if they're lying to me about the damage type. No, there's only one way to find out, right? Seems like we've been cursed by a mysterious group of hunters, and that's the uh, Tiller Hell Sign. Not even close to another level. Oh wait, wait, wait. Can't me by a higher quality thing because the game won't let me anymore. Hmm. UV works on the shadows, and Cinerary works on the uh, Kelpies. I'm gonna switch to Rock Salt. Because if that does more damage, then there's a very big bug in this game. Don't 
That is supposed to be bait that I can throw at enemies. The point of the different weapon or the ammo types is that whatever the monster is weak against should do more damage. Like a lot more damage. Let's see. How do I equip that? Okay, there we go. Almost forgot. Put my booze on. There's blood already. for the price of one. The houses are ramly built. But I think it's still use some more variants. It's not here. It's got to be in this room. company. Oh, we are so dead. We're dead. This is what we call bad RNG. I'm bugged. <laughs> yeah. Here's something fun. We just got a bit of a game bug. That regeneration sometimes gives you infinite health. Fun got killed. Hmm. Mm. That was just horrible RNG right there. There's just no way to get around that. Because hmm. this gun that I'm using right now is supposed to do 40 points of damage. To an enemy. So in theory, it should be doing at least half of that to a boss. But when I hit that boss with Silver Nitrate, she was only taking 10 to 5. And that's not right.
First thing is when you get the breath in these big rooms. It has to be in the lock room, the uh, sound clue. Where's the mystery machine when you need it? Oh, there's our clue. And that's a shock. <laughs> of course not. Why we hunt ghosts in the daylight? Say kid. Mm-hmm. I'll be close. long time to reload. Holds a lot of rounds. I have a feeling one of these doors is going to try and beat me. Pay no attention to the everything moving around on its own. Oh. There we go. in the bathroom. Oh, good. Let's follow some blood. We 
don't know what we're actually dealing with until we get to the second tier of clues. That's one of that poltergeist is bugged. By the fact that it doesn't take any damage, the traps don't hurt it. They don't even stun it. Nope, oh, there it is. Esoteric. Aren't they all esoteric? Oh, we got a shadow this time. So you guys get to see the other boss. I'm gonna chop that door down. I wanna place a ghoul trap down and see what that does. That's a dodge roll Chow can be proud of. I think there's two left. The aiming is a little off I'm noticing in this game. Bullets seem to get caught at specific angles. I don't think they should be. Right, if I remember... Plus, I think we've taken care of all the possible events other than a giant spider. One second. Ooh. It's gotta be in the room next to it. Always a Ouija board. Hmm. We know there's a clue in there. Like I said, the game is also happy to hide clues outside.
I'm gonna bet you that this is gonna be the key. Alright, dragon, have a good night. Two of them right next to each other, it looks like. Oh, it's not the key. No, this should take me back to a dead body. I know, that's a real shocking deduction, I know. That's not right. <laughs> That's gonna be the uh, boss in the next chapter. Uh -huh. And the problem I think that this game has is that it's sometimes very hard to differentiate when multiple clue types are next to each other. Because you'll look for one clue, and you'll be getting the alert about another one. Alright, so this tells me that it's got to be in this general area. I head south. There's some blood. Alright, so the breath is getting less there. I do like the detective angle of the game. I think it needs to be a little bit more balanced. Yeah. The real test, I feel, is just how much variance they really are aiming for. Breath stops there. Again. Come on. I mean, it has got to be nearby. Again, we're looking for a hot spot. And if anybody sees, like, an additional clue for this that I'm not paying attention to, let me know. Because I've been trying to, like, see if there's any other discernible markings or things that show up. And I am not finding it. Oh yeah, there's people on the forums talking about how annoying the beginning of this game is. And yeah, this is definitely a slow cooker. What we really need is like some Scooby-Doo music right here. Somebody patch that in. I cannot believe we have not found the key yet. Like, this is like the first time...
that the key was not like the first thing I found. Goodness. Did I miss something in here? Now the game's playing tricks on me. Now we've gotten everything. Another quality of life feature would have been to show me how many uh, relics or signs are left. think I'm missing it on the ground. Cause I don't think there's anything else left. Oh, there it is, I think. Yep. Seriously. How would anyone see that if they weren't already looking at it? that I need to bust this ghost. Yeah, that looks like it's dementia to me. Come on, really? I'm missing one clue. But Steve from Blue's Clues doesn't have this problem. There's literally only one clue left. I think the max number in a single level is nine. So the question is, what clue am I missing? And when we fight the boss, I want everybody to pay attention to how much damage I'm actually doing to him.
So I get paranoid. All right, you know what? Let's just do it three because this is taking a little bit too long. So we're going to be fighting a giant poltergeist from the shadow dimension. All right, it is a plasma efficient light bulb. And underside boot spikes. We're gonna put on some night vision goggles. Hmm. Guess they want that. They said that a huh. Basically each trap type has a modifying purpose. Or has a uh, on-site modifier that I can make use of. The propane tanks have the gasoline. The EMP traps have the power. And these things have bulbs. But the problem is, I don't know what the bulb uh, storage looks like. I would imagine it would be in, like, a closet somewhere. If anyone sees something that lights up, let me know. Wait a minute. Did I just miss something right here? Because there should be one uh, interactable that's not like the others. Oh, I think we found it. Alright. There's the butane, or the propane. And again, these things are weak to UV. All right, so it was right here. There we go. light bulb. Hmm. I'm gonna go for a sponge. How does a sponge help me? No, it's a drill box. I'm gonna go for more. Uh, no, there you go. I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but we're gonna try it. Okay, so it's any storage shelf is used for that. 
Okay then. Well, let's set this stuff up and go to town. things we have a lot of real estate in this area UV UV all right shall we go. Ow. Uh oh, poison. Something's not right. I am not doing the damage that I should be. I should be doing at least double the damage. I think something may have broken this game. Oh, and when you're outside, you take bonus damage. our time. I think we'll move on and play some sacrifice. Because I don't think I'm doing this tonight. And I think there's something wrong. Because when I was playing this last night off recording, I was doing at least 20 to 25 points of damage to these enemies. Something get changed, or is it that they didn't figure anyone would beat the game, or beat what's in the game so quickly? All right. Well, let's go and do something a little bit more interesting than me just dying over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> 